Well, good morning, South Valley. It is Wednesday, and as we've been looking at the events of the last week of Jesus' life uh, to reflect on this Passion Week this year, um, Wednesday is an interesting day during that Passion Week for Jesus. As far as we can tell from Scripture, we don't have anything specific recorded for what Wednesday was like. We knew that Monday and Tuesday was the temple and the fig tree and uh, conversations with the disciples, and that Thursday would be the Last Supper and the Garden of Gethsemane and eventually being arrested, and we'll talk about that tomorrow. But we have nothing. You could say that uh, there's silence when it comes to what was going on in Jesus' life on that Wednesday. And, um, and so knowing Jesus knew that he was going to die on the cross. He knew, he, didn't, he knew that the arrest was coming and he knew his purpose uh, to die on the cross um, so that uh, we might have forgiveness of sins, that we might be able to experience new life and relationship with him. And knowing what was coming, um, I wonder, I just speculate a little bit if this silence was really important for him. Um, to prepare for what he knew was coming, uh, the difficult and heavy things that would take place over the next couple of days. And so silence is an interesting thing for us um, because maybe prior to being sheltered in place, I wonder how many, how many of us were overwhelmed with busyness and maybe having to pause and stay home has been a hidden blessing for us. And I wonder if for many of us, we've had more moments of silence during these, this last month that we've had to adapt to a new way of life um, than we have before. And um, maybe it is preparing us for a world that's never going to be the same after things quote unquote go back to normal. Um, and maybe it is preparing us uh, for what's ahead. And so hopefully, I just want to encourage you all today to find some moment of silence in your day. And uh, hopefully it helps us prepare for a couple of things. Hopefully, hopefully, the more that we read news about uh, just the chaos in our world, that the silent reflection um, can help us draw closer to God uh, in prayer, in conversation, and just to trust Him and know that He's with us in the chaos that uh, our world is experiencing. And uh, more practically for this week, um, I hope that as we reflect silently, on what's going on in the life of Jesus during this last week, that it can prepare us to uh, really worship him together with the body of Christ. Friday night when we meet together to celebrate Good Friday. Sunday when we meet together to, um, to celebrate the resurrection and the fact that Jesus rose again to celebrate Easter Sunday together. So I just wanna challenge you today. Can you spend a slightly more than comfortable amount of silence um, and, and see where that leads you. Maybe the silence leads you into a deeper empathy for our world and how difficult things are for people who uh, might be losing people to this virus, this deadly virus. Um, maybe we are mourning how different our lives are and just to see what might be going on in our minds and our hearts and to see how God might be involved in that. So um, if you are used to taking moments of silence and pause and reflection, and five to 10 minutes is not out of the norm for you, then I would just encourage you to take 15 minutes today and see what happens. If you can't stay silent at all, take a couple minutes, two to three minutes, and just see where that silence leads you. Try to fix your mind and your heart upon what God might be trying to say to you during this time. We will see you again tomorrow morning on Thursday.